Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the history of an object that I love, uh, the dice. Uh, the reason for this is because I got uh, crazy, oh no, it's crazy, but geek excited <laughs> uh, today when I saw the story about a 20 sided Egyptian die uh, making rounds on the internet. Uh, it's in the collections of the Metropolitan Museum of Arts and uh, dates back to a period of time. Uh, where we have well the 300s up to the 30s BC around that. Uh, it seems to be Greek in origin due to the inscriptions on it, uh, but it was, as I've understood it, found in Egypt. Uh, the history of the die, which I'm going to tell you today, uh, is an ancient one. Uh, the most usual dies today, because they come in many shapes and forms, are the D100. Uh, D stands for die, 100 stands for Sided. Uh, so D100, D20, uh, D12, D10, D8, D6, and D4. Uh, and I realized that I have lost my D4 when I took the group photo for you guys. It, it makes me sad. Uh, but anyway, um, my favorite die in my collection would be my Viking six sided dice. They're replicas though, not real Viking dice. Um, and the oldest die that I know of uh, was uh, uh, is from the burnt city in Iran, Sari Sokta, I think it's pronounced. Uh, and that site itself dates back to most of the 2000s BC and a bit further back also into the 3000s BC. And the dice was found as a part of a black gammon set uh, when they excavated the site. Uh, which also is kind of amazing because we still play black gammon. Uh, we also have uh, mentions of uh, dice in old Hindu scripts uh, from uh, all over Asia. Uh, we have uh, a Mongol uh, die, if I don't misremember. Um, the Romans, of course, were avid gamblers and have dice. Uh, they in even had restrictions and legislation trying to, well, not discourage, but handle gaming within Roman society. Uh, but we still have frescoes showing quarreling dice gamblers and we have uh, the rumor, or well not rumor, but it's said that Tacticus, the senator and historian, uh, claims that uh, Germanic tribes were very fond, fond of uh, dice gaming as well. Uh, I don't have any sources for that though, so don't quote me on it, but if you find it, please quote it. <laughs> um, we have uh, throughout the Middle Ages various references of dice. Uh, we have uh, the seventh, uh, seven sided dice and eight sided dice showing up in uh, the Book of Games, uh, Libros uh, de los Juegos, uh, that was commissioned by Alfonso X of Castilla Galeg and Leon in the 13th century. We also have mentions of uh, French knights and ladies enjoying a good game of die. Uh, now and then, uh, we have, uh, I'm sure, uh, uh, the common folk also enjoyed an occasional dice game. Uh, the die, it's a simple concept and it's a good pastime, I would say. Maybe I'm biased because I'm such a geek, but still. Uh, I mean, we still use dice for numerous different things. I mean, we go from uh, simple games like Monopoly. Uh, to uh, settlers of Catan, uh, war games like uh, Warhammer, Fantasy, and 40k. Uh, 40k, sorry, a bit of Swedish. <laughs> um, we also have, uh, I mean, Risk is based on dice a bit. Uh, and yeah, the dice is still used 5,000 years later. Uh, you can also make up a really good. Uh, past time by just taking a die and rolling it with your friends, seeing who scores the highest. Um, I've done that many a times when I've been bored. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we have Jatsi. Oh, how could I almost forget Jatsi? Um, and uh, of course, Liar Die, uh, Dice Poker. I could probably keep going for a really long time, but I won't. <laughs> um, I would love to hear uh, what your favorite ancient or modern dice games are. Uh, if I haven't heard of them, I will learn them and 
probably pester Mr. Soup uh, and Mr. Soup and my friends <laughs> uh, with it. Uh, so please indulge me. Uh, and I hope you found it at least somewhat interesting. Um, until next time. And please comment in below. Uh, so see you guys. Bye.